Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Once more again, I bring us another fresh word. And in today's prophetic word is talking about your fire is with a lawyer as I'm talking to you now. A lawyer is holding a particular document that belongs to you in the name of Jesus. Your fire, your document, your fire is with a lawyer. God says your fire is with a lawyer in the name of Jesus. There was a particular dream a lady had. The lady told me, Pastor, I kept on seeing somebody pointing me finger, an old woman pointing me finger in my dream. Then, this lady said, Can you help me, Pastor, interpret the dream? The Lord helped me. The first thing the Lord dropped in me was that I should look her lifestyle. Then the moment I looked, checked the lifestyle of this lady, it was not aligned with the will of God. I didn't have to pray for interpretation. I just spoke to the lady. The lady pointing your finger. That woman you saw point your finger is God warning you. I, I now gave this lady a series of fasting and prayers with some scriptures she went through and let go some things. Making the long story short, she was now standing on the right track with the Lord. The lady had the same dream, seeing the same woman, now not standing in front of her, but behind her back, pointing her finger. She came back to me and said, Pastor, now the woman was no more in front of me, but she appeared behind me, pointing me finger. Can we see that the two fingers, a finger in front of you can be a warning. A finger behind you can be direction. So the Lord told me now, the finger, the person that was warning her, is now ready to give her direction. I told the lady, you just made a good decision by accepting Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. And the finger you saw this time around, it was a direction for you to walk on the perfect path that will shine brighter and brighter. That was what I told the lady. Praise Master Jesus. So one thing, that means God can use any image to communicate to us. If a policeman holds a gun, he will not be afraid. A policeman holds a gun, handcuff, whatever, you will not be afraid, right? Because you already know that policeman stands for safety, is your friend for, to maintain peace and security. But if an armed robber holds a gun, a gun is to terrorize, is to rob, is to do all type of evil things. The Bible says, what does, does the, the thief comes to do? The thief comes not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come that you should have life and life in abundance. So those are, are the word. Praise Master Jesus. So now, what about a lawyer? When we talk of a lawyer holding your fire physically, a lawyer is a judge. It's somebody that intervenes, that can stand to speak on your behalf. Those are their offices where God has called them. And only kind of people think that lawyers are just to do, to do corruption, corruption. We believe that even if you're watching me as a lawyer, that is your own pastoral ministry. Any lawyer watching me or an upcoming lawyer, you're praying to become a lawyer. Listen to me. There is no difference between a lawyer and a pastor. You're a lawyer. That is your own pastoral ministry. God did not place you there to take advantage on people. The moment lawyers scam money, nobody will talk. But if a pastor do something, they'll say, oh, men of God, we all are called in a different offices. So the reason why I'm trying to let us know is because we should not look at lawyers as bad people. If a lawyer is holding your fire, it does not mean that you are going to prison. It does not mean that you have steal or you have killed somebody. Lawyers can also stand as witness representing the government to sign and witness a property of yours because there is a mandate there is a power that has been given to them as long as they are on service praise master jesus so i want you to get where the prophetic word is coming and where the prophetic word is going so that we are learning let's learn together a lawyer is holding your fire 
So I want to ask us this question. Assuming your life is being handed, handed to the hands of a lawyer, which is the judge, to judge you, like to hold a, a, a statement, a pen, to write something about you, would, would that lawyer write a positive or a negative? Your file is with a lawyer. Your file is with, is, is with a lawyer. If a lawyer stands now to, inter, to interview you, ask you the nature of your life, both the good and the bad things you're doing, I just want to ask you how many percentage would the lawyer stand to defend you or would the lawyer stand to judge you? The lawyer, the Lord lay in me, is the angel of the Lord. The angel of repentance is holding your fire. Child of God, it is a privilege that the prophetic word of today is speaking to us about mercy and repentance. And repentance, lawyer, the lawyer is holding our fire. Can we all listen to this word and come before the Lord with a thorough brokenness and say, Father, ah, Father, the angels holding my document that stand as a lawyer. Lord, I pray mercy. Mercy. Lord, can you have mercy upon me for that fight to be cancelled? For a new page to be opened? As of today, I'm going to live a glorious and a righteous life. As of today, I'm going to make things right. Oh, liberados ke fabande dos kataya. Ni mamanos ke frabio no sepataya. Oh, the lawyer should not hold my fire with any evil intention. We are going to cry. This prophetic word is for the mercy. The mercy. Somebody type it at the comment section, say mercy. If you are watching me, type it at the comment section, shout mercy. Shout mercy. Shout mercy. Can we call to mind our sins in secret? Can we seek his grace? That we come near before He in true repentance and faith. Kayano Sibado Sabada. Any prophetic word of repentance and call for concern. Let's go back into our secret place and take God Father, have mercy. Lord, I pray. You said in your word that there is joy in heaven when a single soul repents. Child of God, I might not see you, but just make a confession of repentance. I pray that it's a new season for you. In the name of Jesus, God bless you all family. For in Jesus' name, my name is Basil. The Lord bless you. Thank you for being part of this great family. For always watching, coming, liking, and sharing our prophetic word. I pray that the God of my covenant will keep on coming through for you all family. For in Jesus' name, amen.